And welcome back, folks. It is Zach Kavikaz here to bring you more of Duncan Wong Pop V3. As we have reached the gym, we're going to find out how we're going to die next. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Oh, we took a look at the computer on the fourth floor. I didn't even know it was broken. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Please stop. But. Oh. I see. Oh, come on. I really want him to just vanish. Come on, man. But... <laughs> That's enough! No, no. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Gunta. Everyone. How? No. And. And. Stupid ass little bears. With us. For now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. That's right. Indeed. Oh my god, how many of the people have now been converted to the Atua? What? Actually. Hmm. He's like fear. Mmm, delicious. Um. But to unite. We'll, we'll present, present it together! together. And watch it just be like a fluffy little stuffed animal. This time, the motive is a transfer student. Excuse me? Yep, a new student is transferring. And not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Excuse me? And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. How does that work? I mean, obviously we'd want Kaede, or me personally. But she was crushed by a spike-filled induced giant piano. Well... How does that work? What? Are you serious? How can you resurrect someone? So... That's right! Wonderful. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. Hey! You stepped in line in front of me. Whack! I'll do it! 
So, so long. Farewell. farewell. Dot, dot, fucking dot. We are all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing by far. Incomprehensible. Don't screw around! Listen. Ritual. Dot dot dot. So? Huh? What? Do you understand? Well, broken glass could technically be reforged, couldn't it? Uh... Uh, okay. Uh, it's true. The guy from the occult doesn't what? believe it. Might as well. You think? Well, that's because you're a freaking crazy lady. No. Really now. Right. Yay! Atua can bring people back from the dead. I can't follow this conversation at all. Um, I guess I she's the one I'm gonna have to talk to. Uh, um... So, do you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... Oh, wait, what? What are you talking about? Because... Well, I could go with my rule of no body, no death. The truth is... They weren't dead? No. But, but... That's just going completely nuts. R no. An imitation? I see. So what, like, before the guy got hit on the head with a, you know, giant shot put? They're like, mm, yeah, push him out of the way, put a fake body. Wait! What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male! Well, you shove it up your undegenerate. Insert insult here. Why? That's true. I but... do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. And now I think that. But no, how much. No matter how much we want that. But. The message in the courtyard? To the courtyard! Uh, um... Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Hey! And I have more writing? Huh? Um... Right! Message from dead! Let's see.
The word is Nima. Huh? Message from everyone who died? Mm. Rest in peace. How divine! As she spoke, Angie picked it up, picked the nep, the nep, the nep, off the floor. Say, Necronomicon. No. Listen closely. Uh-oh. But thinking about it, the ritual probably would have like to bring someone back, you must sacrifice someone else. So the person would kill someone to bring back another person, but then the original killer will die, so two for one deal. Not in anyone's favor. Eh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and... <laughs> How the hell did she do that? He's like ridiculously tall. Tell me how even on his knees he could reach far that down. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Honestly, this is getting way too Angie-oriented. I know this because Atua is always watching you. Might have been a good choice to get her skill. Always watching Gonta? Even when Gonta poo? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. The more muscles, the less brain power, apparently. Huh? Still gentle. No. Whoa. Oh. You're right. Hmm. One of us. One <laughs> of us. Really? Got it. Wait! Wait, before all that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. You're right. Yes! This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. By killing everyone. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free Ultimate Academy. Huh? Student council and Angie is president? Yes. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Yup, yup. So Yeah, this is seeming like she's taking control of all this again and blaming it on Atua. <laughs> That's right. Now my minions attack! Oh man! For once, I agree with him. <laughs> However, huh? 
I see. Atua, feed us. Please wait. Oh, Strat. Oh. Creek. Right. Why you? But... It's not hard to brainwash him. She joined because Himiko joined. That's correct. Uh, oh shit! So? Yup, yup. I have a feeling like the student council is gonna get together and well. Decide on who, like, a human sacrifice is gonna be. Wait! Less burdensome. Mm. Yeah. Yup, yup. Me, I'm kind of like the person that when something like that happens, I want to join it to sit back and see what these people are like and have no opinion during what they're doing just to, well, see how crazy they are. Got a minute? So she just wants everyone to stay. It's true. They're probably not going to listen. But you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. It looks like I still have time today, right? Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Free time! I don't think I've been generating any coins whatsoever. Which I probably should have been. Wait. That's right. Hold on. Wow, that tilt was annoying. With my free time, I'm gonna go gambling. You know, I'm really waiting for this to become useful in some way to find out what the hell they put Hotel Kuma Sutra here. Coin. Okay, I currently have 2,349 coins. Wait. I have 121 medals, and okay, medals get transferred into coins. And that's where I got it, okay. That way if I go hang out with her again, I can give her another one to try and, you know, sweeten the deal. Before she kills us all. You suck. Now, where would a student council be held? Wait. No, I'm just going to head up to Angie's place first. Instead of we asking most of my time here. Oh, 
I don't like to waste day time. Actually, I do it all the time, but um, we're not going to get into that. Couldn't they have just installed a damn elevator by now? And who are you? What are you doing? Don't care. Moving on. I gotta stay focused. I don't care about these levels. They don't do anything for me, right? Ah, she is in here. Alright. Hey, crazy lady. This should be the last time I ever need to talk to you. Sure, why not? <laughs> I bet they do. Clean zombies! After I declined her offer to join, Angie, I, Angie, Angie, I, Angie and I spent some time together. Angie and I grew a little closer today. Defiantly. Because it was this, wasn't it? Wait. That seemed odd. Didn't it work a lot better before? Sweet time! Did I do something wrong? Yeah, that's what I used before. Ooh, a beret. Well, I'm gonna give her a beret this next time. No point in wasting more coins if that thing doesn't work. That was my last opportunity, and I screwed it up. And I'm gonna, you know, curl into a little tiny corner and go, well, crap. Is there a way I can just utilize the map itself? Forgot if I have to literally walk every single time. Last time, you crazy bitch. Don't care. She's not in here? I gotta figure out where she is. Ah, uh, do you idiots have any idea? I'm just a degenerate male. Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to access the room from a wall. That's definitely how it goes. 
Nope, you're unimportant, sir. Goodbye. Wait, wasn't there someone standing here? Nope. Why does it take so long to load? For the dramatic? Wait a moment, why don't I just go check out the computer room? Those things aren't going to have anything to do with me. Kind of forgot this existed. Just you, Tits McGee? And sadly, I have a task to complete. She'll be my next victim to try and be friends with. Before she goes on a killing spree. Like, reprograms Kibo to, like, start slaughtering everyone. No, nope, she wouldn't be in there. Where would I go if I was a crazy lady? crazy adolescent. Sure that wouldn't be there. If she wasn't in her art room. Bring her back from the dead. Stupid little shit. Just die. It's not really hidden. It's probably classified as hidden because, well, there's no real reason to come back into this place. Why would she be in the student store? Well, she might be in here. I don't know why she'd be in here by herself, but... Then again, Himiko was alone by herself in her lab. Okay, I'm running out of ideas of where she could be. I mean, I'm really surprised that when they talked about, like, the dead thing, that he wasn't just like, well, we need to bring Coyote back. Now!
What? Whoa, what? Huh? The inner tube isn't here. Did Monokuma put it away? Yes, I know it's a storage room. That's what I was trying to see if you put the damn inner tube away, you piece of crap. There's still that damn thing that bothers me. That it looked like there was a door in the freaking... It's probably there just to, you know, throw me off. Hey, it's Kibo. Huh. Ah, well, I'm here. Might as well look down. Well, that's not the door I was aiming for, so I need to go out the left door. I should remember, left is always right. Maki. I don't want to be inside, you freaking piece of shit. I wanted to go back outside. Come on, Yanji. Gonta. No one. So many hidden Monokumas. No one would ever think of finding them there. Okay, so it looks like I can't talk to Angie. Have I ever been in here? Because this does not look like I've seen this. Chainsaws, buzz saws, holy crap. Alright, you know what? Let's just go to Tits McGee and uh, talk to her then. Because it doesn't seem like Angie's around, so might as well go to work on the next person since I did not get the Miad. Well, actually, let's look in here while I have a chance. Oh shit, I act Yup, yup. Yoohoo. I spent some time with Angie. Angie and I grew a little closer today. 
Yeah, defiantly, I might as well. Yeah, here's a beret. Sure. <laughs> well, damn it, I was hoping that would, like, get me that stupid little piece shit thing. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Actually... Thanks for the announcement. Perfect. Best one by far. Calm announcement. Didn't mention it, but I guess it's nighttime. No. Try looking out a window. Time to train. But it's Kaito okay? Oh, God. My ears. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find... What, Maki? Huh? Oh, exactly, huh? Maki! <sighs> huh? Just the two of us. Jeez. Is he trying to get us together or something? But... Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Nido. You're right. Uh, no, I, I guess you're right. Hey. Yet you, like, rang my doorbell like the world was coming to an end. So we're really just going to do this? Train? Just the two of us? How about we do it here in my bedroom? And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? I kind of have to. He's taller than me. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Hmm. Monkey sprang up and said, I'm done. I'm out. Hey. 100. Nice. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. Which isn't bad for a woman. So what? Huh? What? <sighs> That's true. Well... Dot, dot, frickin' dot. Because... This is stupid. You don't have to be able to do something to listen. But... But I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money is the worst. Okay. But now, I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. So what? But you still listened. Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned away, turned and walked away. Maki! 
I'll see you tomorrow, Maki! She didn't reply and kept walking. Alright. Alrighty then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. Hope that it's nothing serious. Hello. Yaha! <laughs> oh shit, hello everyone. Jeez. Wait. Are you trying to do some kind of stupid ass curfew thing? Why? <laughs> oh god, she's taking over. Uh But Yeah, if no one were to wake up tomorrow, none of this could happen. So everyone take sleep aids after you eat every morning. Indeed. Or just take them and not eat until everyone dies. Well... My, my! Uh... Asua! Oh my god. How divine! <laughs> She's going to die. Yes. It has to be it. I would have been like, are you guys idiots? Take every single sharpened stick out of your ass. Start acting normal. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. Well, Why would we? I, should, I suppose I should go to the dining hall. Which, well, unfortunately we're going to leave it there. Because at this point, um, looking at this, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think there might be... Oh wait, what am I doing? One, two, three, four. Looks like there might be uh might be halfway through the game. Uh at least that's what I'm guessing through these stupid damn dolls. Uh, but I am gonna call it here. If you folks did enjoy it, the typical rules apply to help me out, and I hope to make more content for you. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode of Dongan Rongpa V3.